Hello, this one's Jupiter with its stripes. It's in false colour because the colour is showing depth. So the light stuff's higher up in the atmosphere. It's a web telescope image, which is kind of hazy and it shows the aurora and the, the diffuse clouds that are above and below the aurora. And it's pleasingly almost desaturated. I like the fact that it's not the colours we associate with Jupiter. I like the fact that it's not that zingy. Although I've made it too zingy, to be fair, so ignore my picture. I'm talking about the <laughs> I'm talking about the picture that the web telescope took. I like its haziness. It reminds me of being a kid and trying to see Jupiter through a telescope. I'm pretty myopic. I got terrible eyesight, and there's me trying to focus. And of course, I take my glasses off to get a better contact the telescope with my eyeball and. <laughs> And obviously I'm focusing it and I'm focusing it and I'm like, yes, I got it. Look at it. I can see that and I can see what I can see sort of weird striations and almost lines and it's and it and it's amazing and there I go. And of course that's just an artifact of my terrible eyesight. I got some binoculars as well. I borrowed some family binoculars later on. That was more successful. Seeing an image like this that's muted, it, it's uh, it makes me smile a bit. It kind of feels a bit daft doing a picture of Jupiter because of course Jupiter is so hugely vast just in the complexity of the surface of the cloud whirls and patterns and the darks and lights and that and that humming brightness of the aurora and it just feels like this tiny little square canvas that I've chosen is is frankly inadequate but to be fair I, I just did it for a bit of fun and I definitely had some fun it was delightful to do I, I would do more of these pictures. <laughs> All right, thank you for watching.